Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install shaders. Make your game look beautiful. If you know the last two videos, I did some crazy challenges. There will be another, the craziest challenge coming out in the future. I will teach you step by step the easiest way to install shaders. If Roblox updates, you have to do this every time it updates. You need to reinstall the shaders because it deletes your files. Like it deletes, it resets the thing. The only difference with the files I will give you, that will not be turned on. As you can see, my game is laggy because it uses my whole GPU. The, the FPS are good. It's 60 FPS, but the OBS, it doesn't have any room to use some. Difference is not that big. I like it. But it's personal preference. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. You have your Roblox here, but you may be thinking, how do I get here? Well, you go on a game, and to find your doors location, you go to Task Manager, you find the Roblox Game Client, right-click it, and open file location. It will send you here. You can then close Roblox. Okay, so this is the these are the files. I will be including these in the description. Without the ray tracing, obviously, because I don't want to get sued. If you want, you have uh, the link to his Patreon in the description to get access to the ray tracing. Okay, I have brought the files of ray tracing. I'll be showing this later if you want to. If you did get his ray tracing pack and you want to install it, that's, that's fine. I'll show you how to install those as well. So, you download the zip file I will be including. If you don't know how to do that, I'll just show you. Here's the zip file, this will be included in the description. You just right click it, have 7-zip or any archive app, and extract to. And then open the folder, you have all of this. And you get these, and put them in your Roblox folder. Just copy paste and replace. And that is it. It's installed. Start your Roblox. And if you successfully follow the steps, you will see the thing you just saw above. You press F7 on your keyboard and it's gonna bring up this menu. Uh, you can use these to navigate through the files. You go into the double click presets and here you have all the presets I will be including. As you can see, if I press this one, this is the main one I use. It's that simple. And to toggle on and off, you press F8. It's right next to F7. And it's that easy. And if you want to do the challenge I did, you can do this. You just mess with the settings here. This is the setting to make the characters more spaced out. This is the setting to make it black and white. For the glitch, this is the setting to make it more glitchy. As you saw in my video, I go to... I go up to 1, you can go up to 10, but you don't, uh, why would you do that? And you can, you can mess around here, like, you can use all of these, there's plenty of filters to use, it's all up to you. This is the challenge I'm working on, my last room looked like this, like, imagine doing the electricity puzzle like this. Also, this one, there's no ray tracing, it's not here. So yeah, and now, if you want to install a ray tracing, you get you get the files from Patreon. You go into reshade shaders. You go into shaders, copy and paste the files, and done. You have ray tracing. This is like literally traced lighting. That this will not be included again in the pack I will be giving you. And now, if I go again into a game of doors. To enable ray tracing, there, it's already enabled. The game's very laggy, again, told you in the beginning. Ray tracing does make quite the difference. Like, the lighting in some cases, like if I go to the fireplace, look at the difference without and with. You see those nice shadows, nice light bounces, that's... I like it. This was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the challenges I did. 
the latest videos, the guide, the RTX comparison. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, any questions you might have, any suggestions you might have. See you in the next one. Goodbye.